Welcome to the Road Less Traveled. Uh, today uh, is an amazing day and uh, it has led me to an amazing spot. I'm sure you can hear the river roaring. I am sitting on a big boulder in the middle of it. And uh, it's awesome. And I can guarantee that wherever uh, you're at, uh, I'm in a much better spot. <laughs> no offense. But I wanted you to invite uh, or rather, I wanted to invite you to uh, sit with me for a few minutes and uh, to just stop. Just stop for 10 minutes with me and breathe. You know, this year uh, I have, uh, it's been a tough year. Mindy and I and our family have been through some pretty dark uh, valleys. And... Uh, I guess about a year ago, uh, it started uh, as we stood around the bedside of Mindy's dad, as his lungs were failing, and we watched his body fight for the breath, the breath that was keeping, alive, keeping him alive, the very, what I believe now is the very breath of God. And you know, it's funny, uh, we have lost the meaning. In translating the word breath into spirit, we've mystified it and lost the mystery, ironically, in the simple fact that God gave us His breath and His presence is with us in the breath. And His power is with us in the breath. And the Old Testament word is ruah. We translate spirit, meaning breath, or the breath. And God breathed His breath into us and gave us life. And in the New Testament, that breath, pneuma, as it's translated as spirit, literally means the breath, the holy breath. It came upon the church and the church was empowered to live a life of love. And I'll tell you, this year has for all of the Bible study and the Bible school and the teaching and the digging into God's Word, I have come to know God in a way I never expected. And uh, it's been a dark year. And about uh, three months ago, I lost my job. Uh, for the first time in my life, uh, since I was 12, I am unemployed, and I have blogged about this before. But what I want to do right now is to have you stop with me and just breathe deeply. And know that the present God is living inside of you. You can deny Him if you want, but you can't get away from Him as long as you're breathing. <laughs> As you breathe in, I believe God's presence that covered the face of the earth in His Spirit, in His breath, that gives every living thing life, you're breathing in God, in His power, in His presence. And your heart is taking that breath and distributing life throughout your entire body. It's pretty amazing to think about. And then when you stop and think, when you're going through difficult times and you're thinking, God, where are you? <coughs> it's a silly question. He's in you. He's with you. It gives new meaning to a cleansing breath, doesn't it? But I just want to read a passage and I want you to listen to it. And then I'm going to sit quietly and I want you to sit with me by this stream. And I want you, if you can, to just sit and breathe. And just look at this stream, this river. And remember, and thank God for His presence, but remember that He is ever-present with you and in you. And when Jesus says, I am with you and will be in you, Find a new meaning in that. It says, God is our refuge and strength, 
an ever-present help in time of trouble. For that reason, we have nothing to fear, even though the earth might give away, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, and even though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river, a river of life whose streams make glad the city of God, a place set apart where God the Almighty sets up his tent. God is within this city and she will not fall. God will help her at the break of dawn. And even though nations are in an uproar, and kingdoms fall, man, is that ever true? He lifts his voice, and the earth melts. The Lord Yahweh, and that word Yahweh literally is an aspirated word, or it's the sound of respiration. The Lord, Yahweh, is with us. Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of Yahweh. The works of the breath. The desolations he's brought upon the earth, he makes the wars come to an end. He'll break the bow and shatter the spear and burn our shields with fire. And this is what I want you to get. It says, be still and know, be assured that I am God. Experience God. And that word be still literally could be translated <laughs> to relax your hands, to open them. Yada. It's the same root word for praise to open your hands and worship but be still open your hands relax them let go of those things that stress you out let go of the trial you're in let go of the things that you think bring you security whether it's your job your health your home all these things are false security in the presence of God because he is our life. Be still, let go, relax, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And the Lord, the mightiest warrior of all, is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. I'm gonna be quiet and I want you to do the same if you can stand it and just breathe and know that with every breath every respiration you are breathing in the presence of God He is truly in your heart in the most literal way and His presence is inescapable and should bring you peace Sit quietly and breathe.
as David wrote in the 23rd Psalm, surely without a doubt, the goodness and the beauty of God, all that is good, will follow me <laughs> all the days of my life like a never-ending stream. <laughs> like a never-ending stream. And I will set up my tent in the presence of God all the days of my life, forever and ever. No matter what you're going through, relax your hands. Let go of it. Let go of it and trust God. And breathe in His presence deeply. It's pretty awesome. From the road less traveled. Get out there. <laughs>